Back in the 1870s, Pioche was a rough and ready mining town, full of money, saloons, and violence. It said that before the first person died of natural causes here, dozens of men were killed by lead poisoning. And Boot Hill Cemetery tells part of this story. Silver ore was discovered in the area in 1864, but violent resistance from local Paiutes prevented the construction of a town until 1868. Named after a French land investor, Francois Pioche, Pioche grew quickly, attracting thousands of miners, merchants, lawyers, and camp followers to the narrow canyon. In the early 1870s, rights to mining claims were often disputed. Sometimes disputes were settled through the local courts, but as often as not, the point of a gun was the only law. Scheming men needed to assert their rights to a claim. American Boot Hill Cemeteries got their name from people who died with their boots on, which is another way of saying they died a violent death. A good example of someone who died a violent death here in Pioche is John H. Lynch. July 6, 1873, shot during a dispute over a dog. And this man here is nameless, shot by a coward as he worked his claim, and no one even knew his name, Pioche, Nevada. These two graves here, the first one on the right is Harry Gorman, September 20th, 1870, killed by George Hirschi. And over here we've got R.H. Carson, killed on October 30th, 1870. This grave here has a kind of macabre, poetic feeling to it. Morgan Courtney, 1844 to 1873. Feared by some, respected by few, detested by others. Shot in the back, five times from ambush. Sometime in the mid-1880s, a photographer climbed a hill here and took a photograph. What's interesting about this photograph is in the bottom left corner, you can see a gallows, complete with a noose, ready for the next victim. And this is approximately the spot where the gallows would have been. It's unlikely that anyone today knows that the gallows were ever here. Now, western style or movie style gunfights did happen here in Pioche. There was one instance where two men met in an alleyway behind the Midnight Star Saloon. One man drew, shot the other man, wounded him, and finished him off by pistol whipping him to death. The saloon owner, seeing this, pulled out his gun, shot the man through the cheek, broke his jaw. That man survived, but was obviously disfigured for the rest of his life. Now, if we were standing here in 1920, this would have been a beehive of activity full of noise where ore was brought down from Treasure Hill here to this ore bin. Now, this ore bin would have been clanking with ore loaded onto trams that went across an aerial tramway here, up across the hill. This tram was gravity fed and it operated through the 20s and 30s. In 1928, it cost six cents to transport one ton across the hill to the Globe Mill where it was refined. So thank you for joining me on this very brief foray into the violent history of Pioche, Nevada. If you're interested and want to know more about this old mining town, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a longer video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.